Hello, welcome to your weekend edition of CMY Weathertainment. I'm your host, meteorologist Jeff Matthews. You can get weather live at 5.55 on live stream. You can also get it at 6.05 on Periscope. And I tweet out watches, warnings, advisories, immediate weather events on Twitter. I tell you about weather down the pike on Instagram, and I give you information on Weathertainment itself on Tumblr. So great reasons to follow me on all five social media platforms. Meanwhile, Temperatures are going to be cooling off after a robust high on the first half of the weekend to much colder Sunday night, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, where it'll take all week for things to recover. Weather headlines, three of them for you to go along with the most accurate forecast, educational component, and a way to make you smile. Weather headline number one, whichever way it starts off, early Saturday morning it should wind up as white by the time it finishes, which keep in mind... Even if it starts as rain, that's not necessarily a good thing because the ground is frozen. So freezing rain will be underneath the snow that finishes, meaning you won't even be aware that the road is ice covered on top of the snow, which is covering it up. So that makes it even more treacherous, actually, if you're walking on the sidewalks or on the roadways driving along. Significant snow Sunday night through Monday, maybe into Tuesday. What am I talking significant? Let's start with a foot and work up and down from there. I might wind up saying 6 to 12, I might wind up saying 12 to 18. Equal bet. Because this is going to be a prolonged lake effect event. It'll take 36 hours to get there, but it could easily be over a foot of snow when it's said and done. And if you're looking for a January thaw this year, Hondo, forget about it. You had your thaw in November and December, like on Christmas Eve when it was 68 degrees. It's not happening this year. The high is moving off the coast. Its return winds are grabbing warm fronts and pulling them in, warm enough to get us above the freezing mark Friday and again on Saturday. But that's not all of the story. That means this storm will be a coastal storm and warm enough to bring rain to the coast and rain even edging northwards into the Mohawk Valley early Saturday morning. There's more to the story. Two dry slots mean rain-free conditions and snow-free conditions Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, and Sunday morning. But not cloud-free, just rain and snow-free. But there's more to the story. This Arctic front plowing out of Canada is going to bring a huge shot of cold air, and it's going to last for a while. So, you can see the two storm systems here, one tail, another tail, merging over New England. It'll be rain for the coast, maybe a wet, slushy half-inch Saturday morning along the coast. But all of this rain is going to turn to snow along with this. So for central New York, we're on the battleground, right in between. So, Friday night, the rain creeps up, gets into the Mohawk Valley. There'll be some overlap where higher elevations will see some snow, lower eleva elevations some rain, overnight into Saturday morning. But even the overlap areas, as that coastal storm moves away, will go over to snow before winding down Saturday midday. A couple of slushy inches on top of the icy conditions. Quiet Saturday night, Sunday morning. Second coastal storm, Sunday evening. Arctic front plowing in from the west, Sunday evening. Late in the afternoon, early evening Sunday, there's going to be a rush of wind and snow with this Arctic front as it plows through. It'll probably lay a few inches of snow down as it does. Behind it, the winds are going to pick up dramatically. The winds are going to be widespread, not just confined to one plume across the lake, but all across the lake spreading snow throughout most of the state of New York. So the Empire State is going to get widespread lake effect Sunday night, Monday, Monday night, maybe into Tuesday. Meanwhile, I said 36, three dozen cousin for Friday's high, it was 37. I said 20 for the low, it was 21. It's the most accurate forecast you can find. Tell your friends. Trace of snow Friday morning, 923 of daylight. It's picking up. Two more minutes gained over the weekend. Details next. I'm Joe, and I love my weather team. Bring your forecast into focus. So... Saturday morning, ice and snow winds down to snow a couple of slushy inches and ends early afternoon. South wind in the morning turns west 10 to 15 in the afternoon, the drier wind. High, 39. Saturday night, 22, mainly cloudy. Sunday morning, mainly cloudy. But Sunday late in the day, snow arrives. All bets off after 4 o'clock. It's in my You Can Quote Me. High temperature on Sunday, colder, 30 degrees. The Arctic front plows through Sunday night. And it hardly recovers into Monday's 22, Tuesday's 20, and Wednesday's 25. Sunday night through Monday night and maybe part of Tuesday, long-term lake effect means accumulating snow. That's a check of your forecast. 
Stay tuned. We'll be back Sunday evening, and we'll update the forecast then. Have a great weekend.